Good morning. It is Friday, December 13th, and welcome to Bleed Green News. I'm Shasta Morai. And I'm Jaden Wasmith. I feel like this isn't going to go very well. You know Friday the 13th is just a superstition, right? Don't say that. That's when the bad luck hits you. Yeah, right. Anyways, the ACT is tomorrow, December 14th. Future test dates will be February 8th and April 4th next year. Make sure to talk to your counselors about any schedule changes you might need for next semester. These requests must be made before winter break. Seniors, this is the last chance to buy your senior recognition ad for the yearbook. For information and forms, see Ms. Trotter at the office or go to the yearbook room B12. Oh. See, what did I tell you? The power has really been sketchy lately. All right. There's still time to, for you to buy your Christmas trees from the CCHS track and field student athletes. They will be at the Louise Ace parking lot all day Saturday, and they will come back Sunday if they don't sell out. The Churchill <laughs> County Ballroom Dancers want you once again for the third annual New Year's Safe and Sober Masquerade. The dance will be held at the Old High School Pit from 8.30 p.m. till New Year's Eve, 12.30. New Year's Day, you can expect appetizers, music, and a photo booth. Tickets will be sold out the door, or you can purchase tickets in advance at the high school. The cost is 15 per ticket and 25 for a couple. This is what I'm wearing. What will you wear? First semester final exams will begin Wednesday, December 18th, and run through Friday, December 20th. Wednesday will be first through third periods, Thursday, fourth and fifth, and Friday, sixth and seventh. Next, to Kamaya Henning and Brian sanchez Raycup with their interview of Mr. Perazzo. Here it is. I attended Brigham Young University in Provo, Utah for my college career. Brigham Young University is sponsored by the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, and as a member of the church, that's where my brothers went, my sister before me, and so I just followed their footsteps. My goals for this year are twofold, just have a great time. I, I am retiring this year after 31 years of teaching here at the high school, and I just want to have a good time, and at the same time, keep my students in line and kind of enforce some of those rules that I've been lax on the last couple of years. So uh, teach the curriculum and have a good time doing it. W when I was hired on back in 1989, there was an opening in the social studies and theater position. Leo Gervais is the guy I replaced and Leo taught social studies and, and theater arts. And he was teaching uh, world history, psychology, sociology, and um, that's just the position they offered me, and so that's what I got hired on to teach. There's pros and cons to each one. Uh, the world history one, you could just uh, teach the same curriculum year after year after year and give the same exams or the same quizzes. That would be easy enough to teach. Uh, but the theater arts, you have a different play every year, different set of plays for the most part. And so it's uh, more expanding and more interesting and more entertaining for the teacher, I think, to uh, teach the theater aspects. So I, I'm going to go with the, the theater aspects of teaching that as opposed to world history. Thank you for that report, Kamaya and Brian. Ow, that... Oh, no. What the heck? Where am I? In sports, our Green Wave wrestlers will be competing at the annual tournament of champions in Reno. Meanwhile, our basketball teams will be playing our rivals, the Friendly Vaqueros, on Saturday, December 14th. Our girls' varsity team will start at 2 p.m., and our boys' varsity will start at 3.30 p.m. Wake up! Wake up! Wake up! Wake up! That's it for Hold today. Hold on, I'm getting a call. Dude! Hello? Lost. Yeah, what's up? You're breaking up with me? Can we film? Come on, man. Anyways, thank you for watching Bleed Green News. I'm Shasta Morai. And I'm Jane Wasmith. Have a better Friday the 13th than we had.